Friday. It's really, really pretty. Like the the flowers and the leaves and everything is falling. Oh yeah, I gotta turn here. And so we are driving, obviously. Intersection. Bob doesn't like it when I hold it up when we're in the intersection. Oh, well, I guess if she was gonna go, I was gonna go, but I guess you can go, that's cool too. Um. Road rage at its finest. Road rage at its finest. I don't, I don't put up with junk. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. Anyways, so we're going to pick up some uh, rent from one of our tenants. tenants. And then we are going to my doctor's appointment. Oh, well, we have to take this back home and drop it off on the counter and yada, yada, yada. So, yeah. Got the rent. Now we have to stay at home, put it back on the counter so that it can be deposited by another family member. That's how we, uh, that's how we work together, guys. And we got 20 bucks, so, hey. Um, so yeah. He's uh, watching the trailer for the new Hobbit movie. He's watching the trailer, which means he's using that data. This is the Hobbit movie, you don't understand. The Hobbit movie. Yikes. Um, so yeah, so we're just gonna drive and chill and look, right down there. That's guys. I used to live there. I lived down there for 10 years, guys. Bestest house ever. Ever, ever, ever. But then I moved and got married and had a baby, you know. Grown up, moving on up. Anything else, bub? Uh, no. No? Sorry. You say that every time, though. I'm just trying to watch them. Oh, alright. Okay, we'll talk to you guys in a bit. Bye. This, guys, is why I wear my hair up. There is just way, way too much of it. And it's thick. Ugh. This is why I wear it up. Because if it was down and this frizzy all the time and just... I couldn't hand it. It's flapping in the wind and... Uh-uh. Uh-uh. So, we just left my doctor's appointment. One, I have a nurse practitioner, so everything has to go through the main doctor, and at this facility, the main doctor is a sleep study doctor, and he literally talks like the Dracula guy from Sesame Street. Do it, bub. Do I? Oh, I'm asleep, I'm study. Oh, I'm asleep, I'm study. That's, that's exactly what he sounds like. And I'm like, no, I'm like, I'm... I've never had anything wrong with my sleeping. Ugh. Anyways. So, yeah. That's disappointing. And they hadn't heard anything from my my insurance yet. And he's like, oh, the bariatric process takes forever. And I was like, mm, not really. And he pretty much, like, dissed Kaiser. And I was like, um, no. He says... Kaiser cuts corners. Yeah. He's like, you sign that addendum and you, you know, you can't do anything to them if they kill you on the table. He's like, because every bariatric surgery needs a, needs a sleep study. And I was like, well, I literally needed to lose 25 pounds and I would have already had it back in 2011, but I couldn't lose that, that weight for whatever reason. And now I'm stuck in a house. Like, the, the doctor's office is an actual house. It's kind of creepy. It's a house with a sleep study doctor, and he's like, well, if the home sleep study doesn't do anything, which I have to do now, he's like, if, if I don't get my results that I'm looking for, you know, then, then you have to come and sleep here. And I was like, I'm sorry, that's not happening. I'm like, I have an infant and, uh, and, and a husband that just had surgery. I'm not going to come and sleep here for eight hours. Not to mention, if you try and make me sleep on my back, it won't happen. And I'll be there laying there for eight hours on Facebook because, or vlogging because I'm not going to sleep on my back. I never do. Never have that person was sleeping on the floor. There was literally somebody sleeping on the ground right there. On the concrete? On the concrete. With his, he had a hoodie on and it was all, all the way zipped up and it was tied underneath his, underneath his chin. When you're tired, you do what you gotta do. When you're tired, you gotta do. Speaking of sleeping on the floor, no, sleeping on his back. Anywho, so, and I just got a flu shot, so that's no fun. So, we're gonna go to Olive Garden. Yeah. Again. Again.
because the last time we went, I lost it all because I was feeling like absolute garbage. I'm not feeling like garbage right now, so I'm gonna get me some soup salad and breadstick. What, what? All right, y'all, I'm cooking dinner. Whoop, finally, it's like, uh, seven-ish. I've got, I've got my vegetables. My vegetables. I've got some rice going. Oh yeah, just a simple chicken rice peel off, y'all. That's, that's all. And then I got, I got my chicken. You see that going up in there? I can tell you, I can tell y'all that it smells good, okay? Ruby! That's Ruby. She's a stupid dog. She was our dog. She was our dog before we had to uh, give her away because she's kind of crazy. And we just happened to give her away to her in-laws, so. Well, my in-laws. Anyway, so yeah, I'm cooking dinner. Chicken and bub are upstairs. We tried to take a nap. It wasn't very successful. Um, oh my gosh, I've got so many shows to watch, guys. I need to just, I just need to just buckle down. I just need to just buckle down. Because I got this thing, it's called a DVR, and it will overflow. I'm at like 19%, and that's just too low. That's just too low. I gotta... I gotta get ready for next week's shows, so I gotta get rid of all these other shows. So, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna eat my food. We're gonna watch some TV. We gonna chill. Um, and yeah, I'm thinking that is it, y'all. Well, until I pick you guys up back in a, in a little bit. Oh my gosh, and here's my chicken, guys. Ta-da. Ta-da. Goodness. It's seriously just olive oil, garlic, and brown sugar. 20 minutes in the oven, 450. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and it is good. So everything is done. So I'm gonna make our plates and we're gonna skip that all upstairs, y'all. Look at that good chicken. Mm. Look at this. Look at this stinky little baby. What is she doing? Chicken. You were just complaining that you didn't want to be in there. Hey. You know, that outfit looks orange, but it's really pink. So that's kind of weird that it would look that color. Chicken! Hello! Hey! Say hi! Jeez. She's like, I was just playing over here, guys. Whoa. Stinky butt! Chicken! You gonna stand up? Look at her go. Look at those little leg rolls. Look at these things. Girl, give me them. Give me that. Chicken. What? Hey. 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 Skylar. Skylar. She is just preoccupied with the, uh, you're going to go tumbling. And I'm going to have to catch you. What are you doing? When you want to chew on something, guys, you just want to chew on something. Whoop, and she's down. Yeah. All right, guys. So it is. Um, let's check what time it is. Is it really eight thirty-five? It is. It's eight thirty-five. It is eight thirty-five, and we're gonna end the vlog. Um, I want to say to um, go check out one of my really, really, really close friends, um, Callie. Um, she, I will, um, uh, I mean, you guys can just message me if you want her information, but she is an awesome photographer and, um, she is trying to raise money so she can pay for college. Um, next semester is her last semester. So, um, if you guys need any photo shoots, you get a whole, like, I think it's like an hour session and you get every picture that's taken on a CD and everything is edited and it's only 50 bucks. So, um... Message me, and I will um, pass your information on if you are interested. Um, she's obviously in my area, which is in Brentwood. Brentwood, Oakley, Antioch, maybe Discovery Bay. I don't know. Um, if you guys live in any of those areas um, and would like something for the holidays, oh, she just did um, her son, 
her son's Thanksgiving pictures, and she compared them from last year to this year. So cute. So cute. So, um, yeah, message me if you have any questions about that. Um, we are going to end tonight's vlog with what we were thankful for. Thank, thankful. Thankful. Thankful for being born in the 90s. Like, 1991. And um, we were just we're, we're just talking about how um, people these days, or kids these days, aren't... They don't, ex you know, they're not experiencing the same things that we did when we were kids, you know, like, we had to experience crappy internet, dial-up, that, that crazy little buzzing sound, and the fact that nobody could be on the phone while you were on the internet, or vice versa, you know, I, I had a, a measly little Nokia that, you know, I had to use this little card and put minutes on it and I was only allowed to use those minutes for emergencies so I pretty much just played snake on it and oh we didn't have cable like like we had like 18 channels and it was all the Mexican shows and it was um what'd you say Jerry Springer and um Nickelodeon and that was that was it you know that's that's all we had so we're grateful and thankful for being raised in the era that we were because we had cassette tapes and we had little Walkmans, you know, where you can just put that little square with your cassette tape in, you know, in your pocket. And then, and then there's that thing that I see on Facebook all the time where it has, it has the, uh, the CD. What is that thing called? It's a, it's a Walkman, right? Yeah, yeah, the CD players where you're holding it, you have to you have to hold it like this because it wouldn't fit in your pocket because we upgraded from the cassette to the uh, to the CD player. I and used to, I used to carry around a uh, a CD player in my uh, my backpack at school instead of yeah. my iPod. Yeah, CD player in the backpack, and you had like a cute little pocket up at the front, and then your, headphones, your headphones. Yeah, and then your through. headphones would come through. You know what so else? funny. You know what else I used to love. Remember those pencils? Yes. And they had the tiny little white tip <laughs> lead little, points, and then you pull and there was them like out. Ten of them, and you would just feed them through. Yeah. And I yeah. remember one time I had a really bad one, and we were on an airplane going somewhere, and I pushed it through, and they all just fell all in the airplane over the <laughs> and just rolled to the back of the airplane. Yeah. And I'm, I'm like ten, and I'm like I just lost like one of my favorite my whole life my favorite pencils <laughs> my in the whole airplane. life. <laughs> and you were you were just you were just screwed if you lost one of them because you couldn't do it anymore because you couldn't do it anymore that's so, so funny those it's things so are crazy you have those stupid little dull ones and yeah and you just had to push them through. i liked those little little tiny um what are those things that, like the digi or were they digi pets yeah the little handheld things little tiny things little keychains and you would have to like feed it and like that was our video games not the xbox one not the xbox 360 we had yeah. this tiny little thing that we fed and we watered and we took out for a walk and the it could nintendo, be different dogs and nintendo 64 nintendo 64 like, oh i could have one of those nintendo 64 oh. came out when i was like what are you doing when i was like six seven and one of the very like first the games was, ever. was mario 64 yeah and then when we're on the road, you know how they have those new 3DSs? Ugh. Do you remember the original Game Boys were about this big? Yeah, they were just and like bulky. this thick, and they were in black and white. Yeah. And there was one volume button, and that was it. Hut, baby down. <laughs> it's just, and there were, you could play, there was it with Donkey Kong and Tetris. Tetris. And then there's oh always be those, my parents always had those little, little Game Boys like this that were like card games. Like the oh Texas yeah, and yeah. You just play them in the bathroom. Stupid. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, kids, <laughs> kids, the kids these days, man. They just some kids. They just grow up and they just expect like, it. My ten-year-old, you know. Brother, my ten-year-old brother. Oh my for gosh. His, like, ninth birthday is like, bro, I want a tablet. I'm like, from my ninth birthday, I'm like, bro, give me a bike. Yeah. Give me a skateboard, not a tablet. Yeah, what that's, the hell? I was like, back, what the hell is a tablet? That's so funny. That's when you say tablet, I think of like a table. Yeah, yeah, he's 10, and he has a flat screen TV to himself. He's got um, a PlayStation 3 to himself. He's got the Wii, the Wii U. He has a ginormous iPad. Um, all of these things are crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And the 
I've already talked about this. The only electronic that this kid is going to get is on her first birthday. I'm just going to buy her the Galaxy Tab 3 or 4 or whatever is out. And it's going to have fun games, fun baby games for her to learn and express her mind. And it's going to have Disney movies. Like a leap pad, pretty much. That is it. That's all she gets. And she can have that until she is 10, and we'll just upgrade upgrade the games to go with her age, and that's it. Kids these days, you know, they turn 12 or, you know, 11, and they're like, where's my iPhone? I'm like, first of all, I'm not going to buy you an iPhone. I want her to do what we did, because I had a lot of fun playing outside. You know, I was, yeah, oh my gosh, I was an amazing tree climber. Crazy. Yeah, bike ride, climb trees. Oh yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. Where are you going? Let me join, but I'm bring my right? Yeah. So, I asked for a... I asked Bub. I was like, give me a shorter... Uh, give me something shorter that's something that we're thankful for. And it's ten minutes long. Just this one little video right here, guys. So, apparently, we are... Old and going on rants about technology. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny. These days, guys, these days, you just can't. You just can't. Yeah, you gotta be appreciative for the things that you got. Like, we can go months, months, years without getting something new that was, you know, expensive and and whatnot. Because you just, you just don't have it these days. You just don't get the money these days. So that's what we were thankful for. We're thankful for being... Raised in an era where we got to experience, um, no, no technology, or limited technology, um, and I hope that she's okay with having limited technology. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She says, mm-hmm. She'll be aight. She'll be aight. So, yeah. Now we're gonna end the vlog. Yeah? We're gonna end the vlog. So, if you are new to the channel... Please, please, please hit subscribe and um, come hang out with us every day because we do this all day, every day, guys. And um, subscribe. I will subscribe you back. Comment. I will comment you back. And like, and I will like you back. Give this video a thumbs up. Chicken is exhausted. Look at her little face. Look at her baby, baby, baby. He's in my stinky bed. He said, hang out with us, guys. Come hang out with us because my fro is so crazy. Huh. No, you can't touch it. No, you can't have a baby. No, you can't have a baby. So, yeah. We will see you guys tomorrow. Say bye. bye.